Hey, how's it going guys? For video number two today, we're actually going to be doing a Kenley Jansen debut. We'll go over his stats in a little bit of his actual card, but so far he has a 1.69 ERA for me, a whip of 1.0, and honestly it should be so much better, but he has given up quite a few very late hits. That is maybe one downside to this card. It seems like he has a kind of a fluke mechanic, but even then still a 1.69 ERA from a reliever for me is really good. Now, in my opinion, I think this card will be an end game reliever. He has a 96 mile per hour cutter, a 95 mile per hour sinker, a 96 mile per hour forcing with 87 changeup and 83 slider. I basically use that slider more often than the changeup because people will see it think it's a cutter try and react quickly and it just does a better job than the changeup more often than not and it's not to say you never use the changeup because you do want to keep it in your arsenal so we're going to try and go as many innings with kenley jansen as we possibly can after maybe the third or fourth inning we're going to go to him and if he can run three or four innings perfect looking at his stats he has 121 hits per nine 125 k's per nine so his p the pci that people will see when they're batting against him it's going to be the best you basically can get if he had four more hits per nine it would be maxed out overall but with 91 balls per nine 92 control i'll be honest i control him really well he's a lot of fun to use home runs per nine of 85 so if somebody does make good contact it doesn't necessarily mean the ball is going to stay in the yard he will still give up a home run i don't think he has for me yet but looking at that stat definitely shows that it will be possible all his pitches have crazy movement the slider the sinker the cutter is the dirtiest cutter i have seen and i think the three years i've played mlb the show it has crazy movement comes in crazy fast you'll get to see in this video just for the lineup today it'll be the same as yesterday's we still will be using blackman in left willie mays in center tony gwen in right joey gallo at third base ron jeremy at short alomar frank and then pudge still behind the dish i hope we end up getting a better catcher in the future um when patch 112 was around pudge was hitting really well and he really was usable and was fun to actually use but that being said right now with the current state of the game i hope there's a catcher that does come along high contact and maybe even more power or just high contact and less power because that that mid 80s power for pudge it honestly makes him a line out machine so our opponent for today is going to be fade he is going to end up having Adam Wainwright on the mound. He's got his cap at short. Willie Mays, Tony going Frank, Duke, Hornsby, Lindor, and even Kyle Schwarber. That card is low-key dangerous, if I'm being honest, with Burt Blylevin on the mound for us. Should be a good game. If we end up with an early lead, that means we'll go to our bullpen even quicker. But if it is a close game, we may hold off to bring out Kenley until like the 5th. Or if there's really, truly an important at-bat for our pitcher, you know, say it's in the third, we'll go to him then as well. But for right now, like I said, I don't know the exact plan. We're just going to kind of roll with it. 2-2 two, two the count. We're going to try and bring this fastball inside. It's either going to work really well for us or be dangerous. Looks like it worked well for us because his timing was there, but he was underneath it. That's out number one. What would make this card absolutely amazing if he had a slider, this card would be filthy. We end up getting a routine ground ball over to Alomar, out number two. 2-2, two, two, we haven't really flashed the change up a whole lot, and that is not where you want it, and it ends up being a Tony Gwynn to Tony Gwynn line out. Like I said earlier, it is Wayno on the mound. Our success against Wayno has been good, but for whatever reason, right there, super late on that change up inside, we end up... Wow, that was a pitch to hit if I've ever had one. Damn, good pitch. All right, well, not a good first inning by any stretch of that imagination. Some good pitches by my opponent, some chokes by me. We need to try and keep them silent yet again this inning. 0-2, oh, we're going to try and throw this two seam off the plate. That's going to find a whole lot of it, but it still was the right pitch at the right time. Fly ball to Tony Gwynn. First pitch to Dookie Poopy. Throw a fastball upstairs blow up by him we're gonna follow up that fastball on the 0-1 count with a change up that should be a great pitch that, that was a good pitch and realistically he went with it really really well but it was out of the zone that's out number two and right, we're gonna go right back oh no ended up yeah i'm not surprised that ends up being a base hit charlie blackman just pick up the ball don't give me any of this common defense bs one two should be a good change up yes sir we get ourselves out of the inning Let's make sure we have ourselves a better inning up at the dish. Not be caught looking at strike three. Frank, 
And please tell me that's getting over his head. All right, it's off the wall. And because he misplayed it off the wall, we end up getting a double. If he played it correctly off the wall, we, there was no way in hell that was only going to be a single. 3-0. I'm green lighting it. I'm getting something to hit here. Just kidding. Ends up being ball four. Willie ends up hitting into a double play on a super well hit ball. Ron, uh, I don't. I honestly would love to see the PCI feedback on that one. Thought I was on him, but maybe we slid it over a little too far to the left. Had a good chance that inning and ended up choking it away. Almost a case in point scenario, but thankfully we induce a line out for out number one. Full count. Hopefully we don't walk him. Should be a good pitch right there. Yes, sir. Change up on the corner for out number two. He will be somebody who chases fastballs out of the zone. So on certain two strike counts, I will be looking to execute that. Alomar with the range doesn't allow that blue pit to fall. Pudge goes to the opposite field, but I do not think he hit it hard enough. Ends up being a fly ball right on the warning track. And good okay, but perfectly squared up. Mm. Tony ends up smoking it as well. But just like Pudge, hits it right on the warning track on a line. Two on the count. We're going to go with the fastball up and pretty much right over the heart of the plate. Missed our spot. End up executing it correctly. It's either a rollover or a weak fly out to left. But you leave it over the middle of the plate to Willie Mays. That's going to happen. We find ourselves down in a hole 1-0. to zero. Not a big deal. You're going to need to score one anyways to win. Hopefully, Blackman, you got some range, buddy. Because you... Thank God you... That's the one downside to using it. If it's going to be a close game, this is the last man you want to see in your outfield. Hard curveball inside. Hit a spot. Get the job done. Do just that. Find ourselves another strikeout. We haven't thrown a changeup inside this whole game, and we end up missing our spot. But it was out of the zone, so it's a ground ball over to Alomar. Get ourselves out of the inning. We did give up a solo shot to Willie Mays. Let's turn our luck around, get some men on, or hit some solo shots. And that is not going to get the job done, unfortunately. Chase the bad pitch. Gallo goes the other way. I'm telling you, he absolutely destroys the ball to left field. I noticed my opponent didn't have the shift on like my other opponent did the other day. But Jesus, what a hit by Joey Gallo. Frank ends up lining out on the very next pitch. All right, we end up getting ball four with Chuck. Brings up Willie Mays. Last time he hit into a ground ball double play on a well-hit ball. Hopefully this time he straightens it out a little bit. Willie, please tell me you got all of that one. Yes, sir. He ends up making up for that ground ball double play. His last at-bat, we are now up 3-1. to one. Ron, please get down. 0-2, we're going to throw that everyday curve ball. Ends up freezing him again. He reads the 12-6 really well. But I don't know, he, he, it's like he's reading that regular curveball as if it's a fastball every time. The regular everyday curveball, we struck him out twice by freezing him three times with that same pitch. Now, like I said before, he will chase this pitch 2-2. Two, two. We're going to try and execute it. End up getting him to chase strikeout number. I, I don't honestly remember, but it is a strikeout. Pooch. Pooch gets it up the middle, but we end up getting robbed. So that's going to be out number one. So our pitcher, Burt, is up. We're going to go ahead and take him out already. Like I said, this is a Kenley Jansen debut. We're going to try and let him run three. Maybe if he can run four, five, we'll see. But at bare minimum, he's running two plus. Tony goes the other way, but I could already tell that caught too much air. So that is a one, two, three inning. Kenley Jansen's going to be coming out of the bullpen. Hopefully he does really well for us. But he ends up backing away. We're going to throw that slide piece. Looks like taking off the shift was not the brightest idea. Ends up biting us. But we also did miss our pitch. If we did get it inside, who knows? All right, we're going to induce this ground ball. And by induce a ground ball, I mean give up a two-run home run. Way to start the debut. You two, we're going to get the sinker up and in. Good pitch. End up jamming him. Tony Gwen with the range. Tony Gwen apparently is not using a glove in right field. Ends up being a double on a late jammed hit. If we can get through this batter right now, that would be great. And then hopefully get the bar back. We somehow end up getting a pop fly on that pitch. Out of all the pitches, that's the one. Still do not have the bar back, so I'm having to guess where it is. Please do not be another crappy hit. Ends up being just that. Thankfully, our opponent ends up going to second base we'll go and throw it to first get him out 
Alomar gets it down the line ends up being a hard ground ball for out number one we could use a big time right now frank a frank tank would be amazing and a frank single i'll take it who it's gonna bring up somebody else i don't remember who chuck making nasty lines out let's see if we can have ourselves a better inning with kenley right here that is a much better start to the inning that's out number one one oh we're gonna go ahead and throw that slider that's gonna be a good pitch end up catching a lot of the plate we've already gone 25 pitches with kenley looks like this may only be a two inning debut we'll see if you get some quick outs right here or what happens but like i said we'll have to see we're gonna go oh we missed our spot but good break good speed gets himself a strikeout all right so he's gonna bring up ichiro thankfully that's not like a super dangerous hitter frank thomas makes the play and beats him to first base i i don't get it he is a great card defensively. I'll take it. Willie, we swung at a bad pitch. We were all over it, but it was a pitch out of the zone. Ron ends up getting a base hit. So that's a man on first, one down. Probably going to need two more hits or a pass ball and then a hit to get him in. Pudge ends up, we swing at another terrible pitch and get ourselves in double play. We've had a combination of bad luck and also very, very stupid at-bats as well. All right, we're going to see if we could get ourselves another inning out of Kenley. To do that, though, we're going to need to have a somewhat quick inning with no potential damage. Get ourselves a line out. Got lucky. First pitch to Willie. We're going to throw that cut piece. End up being a great pitch. It's going to be a routine fly ball to Frank Thomas. He gets there two down one one sinker upstairs ends up missing our spot but he didn't get his pci up there that well ends up being a weak fly ball to center field kenley jansen gets himself another one two three inning honestly it was just his first inning that went horrific it went god awful but at least his last two innings were shut down we have two more innings to figure it out offensively joey Votto get it started Joey Votto squares it up, but it was like we were just a tad too late. Push a foul. And then we do that. All right, so that's going to be out number one. I thought that was going to sink. If it did, we had ourselves a home run. Ended up staying flat. We dipped underneath it. So we end up getting a four-pitch walk from Billy Wagner to Tony Gwynn. Man with speed on first. Might be looking to try and take advantage of that right now. That's a good jump. We're going to take all the way. Got a man on second. One out base hit scores them man we are chasing some bad pitches joey gallo ends up a tad underneath that changeup, bringing out the goose honestly i don't think goose is that good anymore simply because not only does he not have the greatest speed differential but people have seen him so much now they understand what to look for from him and that's the one downside he kind of came out early and you, you know what to look for with him you know if you, you miss a slur kind of he's only got really two timing windows if i'm being honest so here is duke throw that change ends up being a good pitch get ourselves another routine fly ball over to the left one out away from coming up in the bottom of the ninth all right you you love to chase this pitch two two we're gonna throw that fastball upstairs yes sir should have been using that pitch a little bit more especially with kenley but we're going to the bottom of the ninth down one run can we pull through Frank gets us started off with a double in the gap. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed. I might even put a, if we have somebody with speed on my bench, we'll put him in. We don't really have anybody with speed. We have Ryan Braun who has 74 speed, which is solid, but I actually may want to use him right now, but I'm going to refrain from doing it because I'm going to trust Chuck Nasty chuck make it nasty ends up screaming it for a line out and doesn't advance the runner perfectly squared up to 96 off the bat you couldn't ask to square that up any better rio to willie he's a little nervous he knows we are all over billy he's feeling the pressure billy ends up getting cranked by willie we end up walking off with a two-run shot from Willie Mays. Thank God that line out from Charlie Blackman did not come back to haunt us. And you know who ends up getting the win? Not Kenley Jansen, but he doesn't get the loss either. So Willie Mays is the player of the game. He accounted for every single run that scored. He was two for four, two home runs. 
five RBIs. We only scored five runs. Frank Thomas was three for four, two doubles. Joey Gallo, one for four, a double. And somehow, Tony Gwynn, 0 for three with a walk. That's a notable player. At the end of the day, I think Kenley Jansen is end game closer. It just so happened to be while I was recording, I made some stupid mistakes, left some pitches over the plate, and even gave up a home run, which honestly, let's be real, was just a good hit from our opponent. It was on a good pitch. He gave up three runs and then held him silent for the next two innings, gave up a couple late and early hits. But again, he's an end game reliever. I think he's really good. Highly recommend picking him up. I don't know what other relievers will really come out later in this year, but Kenley Jansen is always going to be in my bullpen. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day.